Welcome back to your video tutorials, Excel 2013 spreadsheets. Tur day number 13, exercise 2, conditional format. We're going to continue working with the conditional format, okay? Now let me get this out of the way. Here's my Excel. This time I'm going to open my Excel folder from the tax bar, right click. Here's my Excel 2013. I'm going to snap this window to the left hand side and here's unit C and exe file. Okay. We're going to use file, save as, computer, Excel 2013. And this is just going to be, okay, top notch. Save. Okay. So something similar to what we saw in on the last exercise. Okay, we are gonna have to start resizing our columns so that we could display all the data. And there we go. Okay. Okay, so again, we're going to be using um, mm -mm, the conditional form. Okay, uh, so here's the labels. Okay, so this is uh, okay. This is another company. The, here's the employees. We have the hire date. Okay, the department that they are working on. And this company categorized their, okay, their employees by different labels. And they also are applying a different review cycle. Okay, so basically we're going to have two conditional formats here. Okay, we're going to be applying one to the labels. So we highlight our cells, our range, D4 through D18. Okay, and let's say that right here we want to have, okay. Okay, depending on the label. Okay. It's going to be formatted with a different font size or color or fill. Okay? Now, in this case, we're going to be using greater or equal to 3. Okay? So, if there's the data selected, we use the conditional format. Now, right here, we're going to be using, again, highlight cell rooms. And we're going to be using, see, greater than. So, we click into that. This window is going to open. And right here, we're going to type in 3. Now, um, cells are, are greater than, uh -huh, than 3. Okay, so here's the predefined selected format. So we're just going to click on OK. Okay, so any cell that is greater than 3, okay, it's going to be formatted with a different color. Okay, now we want to modify this cell. I mean this conditional format, okay? We could go back to the conditional format and this time we're going to click on Manage Rules. Okay? Now right here we have this option, Edit Rule. Okay? Now right here, see, there's the condition, okay? Greater than or equal to 3. Okay? It's going to be applying that particular format. Okay, so greater than 3. Okay, so from here maybe we can say, okay, uh, greater than 4. And we click on OK, apply, and then OK. So now, the ones that are greater than 4 are going to be highlighted with a different format. Okay, now right here we have another, okay, the review cycle. Let's say about the review cycle, okay. Uh, so a, any person, any employee that is equal to 4 is going to have a review. Okay. So we go to the conditional format. Here's the highlight search rules. And now we are going to say, okay, equal to number 4. Okay. So and this is going to be with different format. I'm going to be using the green. And okay. So anybody that approach okay they did four years working with that company so it's gonna have a review okay so Mary Carlson is gonna have a review 
uh, judge and edit are gonna have a review. Okay, we click on save. Perfect. Okay, and now from here, there's a little bit of format. Okay, match and summer. Besides, tab a little bit. Okay, maybe in this this case we could use the cell styles. Okay, I'm going to change the font color and the font size now. Okay, now right here, uh, this whole range, see? A3 through E18. Okay, come on, we apply the borders. It gives a title. I'm going to apply a different field. There you go. Okay, now let's say that we want to add another comment. Where's the comments are? Review. So let's say that uh, Di Carlo Yvonne, she was hired into March 7, 1981. She is into the administration department and she is on level 6. Okay. So right here I'm going to click on new comment. I'm just going to drag this out of the way using the four way arrow. Oops. Oops. Okay, there's my comment. I lost my comment. Now, what's gonna happen? How can I see um, change a comment? Okay, or edit the comment? I'm gonna click into that cell. Okay, and then if I look into my review, I have the review tab selected, and here's the edit comment. And then again, it opens this text box. I'm just gonna move it. That's what I was trying to do. Okay, and we're gonna say. Okay, uh, Eric. Okay, this employee employee is on level six. We uh, she needs a. Extra benefits. When we click away, it disappears. When we bring the pointer, it just pop up again. Okay. Now, if we want to edit that, then I will need to click into the cell, make sure that I'm on the review tab, and then I'm going to be using the edit comment. Yeah, it opens the same window, and from here I could just go ahead and start going my, I mean, change my comments. Okay. Let's say that I want to add another one to edit. Okay. So, here's the new comment. Now we're going to say Mrs. No, let's just say that edit. Okay, and it is up for review. And click away. We want to add another one to Carson Mary. Okay, here's a new comment. Okay, Mary is also up for review. And then Josh. Come in. There you go. Okay, so there's my comments. Okay, now there's going to be occasions that you guys want to make sure that this person is going to read those comments. If you guys look up here, we have the show all comments. When we click into show comments, see every single comment is going to appear. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and move them around because we want to make sure that everything is visible. 
And here we are. Okay, so we could move those. Okay, left click into when we have the four way arrows into one uh, into the boundaries of the text box, and then we could put them in place. And there we are. Okay, just to make sure that the person that in this case Eric, we want to make sure that. Eric is going to read this message with these comments. Okay, now when we click away, the message is just going to stay there. Okay. Okay, well, thank you. So that was recessing columns, format worksheet, apply conditional format, and insert comments. Thank you very much, and you guys have a great day. Until the next video tutorial.